Hey guys, it's Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hope you're having a great day so far. Hey, we're on our way to check out a beautiful pool home in the Havasu Foothills Estates. Has a hundred foot double RV garage. Hang out with us, check it out, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Wanted to give you guys a quick little video of the entrance run up into Havasu Foothills Estates. This is a planned unit development. So it's about a quarter mile or so until you hit the uh, start hitting the neighborhoods, which is right here. Right guys, we're out here at 1030 Corte Tranquilla. This is out in the Havasu Foothills Estates. Beautiful planned unit development, top of town. Every house in this development is custom. So there's no riffraff. There's also no uh, vacation rentals allowed up here. Very nicely landscaped, paver drive. This is a uh, really nice cul-de-sac location, so there's not gonna be any traffic on your street, even though there's not really traffic anyway up here. And it's close to the main entrance as well. All right, let's go on and check it out. By the way, this does sit on a huge 28,400 square foot lot. So it blows out in the back because it's a cul-de-sac. Nice eight foot door. All right, guys. So this is a three bedroom, five bathroom. Built in 2017, just over 2,500 square feet of open living. Huge, tall ceilings, cam lights everywhere, integrated sound. Has multiple sliders out to the backyard pool area, split floor plan. Has a nice little wet bar with a sink and wine fridge. Nice big dining area. Nice open kitchen, Viking appliances. This does have underground utilities, by the way. And natural gas. So that's a bonus in Havasu. Got your double oven, big granite slab, tiled backsplash, nice windows. Pretty cool little recess up there with windows. All right, so you have a guest bath, the entrance, indoor laundry with access to the garage, and another bathroom and master. Let's go check it out. So you have a kitchen bath that's at the front of the house right off the main entry. Very nice. You have your Indoor laundry next to that. Tons of counter space, all granite, can lights. So you have a master bath, I believe this is. Dual vanities, huge tall ceilings, can lights. It's got a nice soaker tub. Has a nice walk-in shower, nice tile work. Got a huge walk-in closet, the safe. You also got your toilet here with its own door. 
So I'm not sure this is the master. I think this is just gonna have multiple uh, master suites. So I'm gonna call this bedroom number one. It's at the rear of the house. Big size, has a nice big queen or king bed in there. The walls are all troweled down in this whole house and it's got the tall baseboards. Very nice, two by six construction. This also has a slider out to the backyard and pool area. We'll go check out in a minute. Okay, so that was the master and you have the other two bedrooms on the other side of the house. The nice little hall and the door to the other garage. So you have bedroom number two at the rear of the house, tall ceilings, can lights, and it's a little junior master suite, has its own bathroom and little walk-in closet. Well, I shouldn't say little, it's pretty big. It's actually a pretty good size for a second bedroom. You have your little junior bath suite, single sink, nice tiled walk-in shower with the tile work and stone. All right, let's go check out the other one. All right, so you have bedroom number three at the front of the house. This is also a junior master suite. So you got your little junior master suite, bedroom number three. It's kind of a mirror of the other one, except this one just has a full bath. Okay, so this is inside the three car garage. Has epoxy floors, mini split AC units, security cam set up. It's 25 feet deep, nine foot doors. Access to the backyard. So, this is a massive garage. 20 feet wide, which makes it a double RV garage. 100 feet deep. True 14 foot door, has three mini split AC units in it. Fire sprinkler system. Full 50 amp hookups with water and dumps and drains. This is like an aircraft hangar in here. So you have your, your little soft water loop right there, which they have on a filter system. Hot water. So the whole garage has hose bibs, its own panel, it looks like. It also has its own bathroom. So this would be the fifth bathroom. It also has access to the backyard pool area that we'll go check out right now. So this garage is super clean, has three 50 amp uh, outlets. It's probably about 24 feet wide on the interior, but the entrance is 20 feet, has a drive through bay. So you can turn half of the back maybe or whatever you're not using into uh, you know, to extend your backyard, put a bar in here. Uh, we've seen people do some pretty cool stuff in the back of their drive through garages. All right, has a very, very nice backyard set up. Extra large patio with huge ceilings, can lights, integrated speakers, outdoor TV, lots of living space. Multiple access points to the backyard artificial grass setup, gas fire pit, very private, nobody's looking in on you. Another little patio off the side here. Very nicely landscaped and maintained for sure. Oh, so this one happens to be on propane up here. I believe some of these are natural gas, but they just do propane. That will do your stove, and it's also plumbed for the pool equipment, so your hot tub is fired up 
and also this fire pit is probably connected to that same deal. Beautiful pool and spa with the quartz finish, travertine pavers, granite counter here. It's all in excellent condition. So it looks like there's a umbrella post in the Baja shelf. Or maybe it's a water feature. Have your little outdoor kitchen that they have plumbed the the propane to. Some outlets. Very nice setup, granite counters. Nice little outdoor pool shower. So you got all your pool equipment tucked away behind this wall. Probably throw a cover on it, keep it out of the sun. All oh, fully walled yard, it's huge property. So these cul-de-sac lots, they blow out in the back so you get a little more square footage out of them. So the drive-through garage door looks like it's also 14 feet high, which is a huge bonus. Got your mini split condensers out here, ground mounted. Beautiful, beautiful home. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on uh, Corte Tanquila. Uh, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything I can do to help, always feel free to reach out. All my contact information, as always, is right below this video. Also put a direct link to the listing detail page so you can guys get, see all the original listing pictures and all the pertinent uh, listing information as well. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.